Black Friday, I ordered these gold aluminum discs from Levenger. And I absolutely love them. Um, I think they're beautiful. I am way into this disc bound system right now. It's my most favorite thing. Um, I showed you guys a video where I was setting up um, this Levenger notebook for my project management. And I decided to get these rings because I ordered a Louis Vuitton desk agenda again. Um, and so I wanted to put um, these rings in there. Like I wanted to create a notebook that would go in there and insert. So I did some research and from what I could tell, these one inch discs fit into the desk agenda perfectly. So I ordered them from Levenger. This is how they came. Um, their disc bound system is called Circa. It just came, um, a set of 11 discs was, I think they retail for 25. And then it was a Black Friday promotion. So I think I got them for maybe like $18. So let me look at inches. You can see across, by the way, this gorgeous gold ruler is from Cloth and Paper. You guys know how much I love her. So, okay, as you can see, it is actually one inch across. So when I got these um, and kind of started putting my notebook together, I realized that the one inch discs are way too big for me. So contacted Levenger. They said that they do not have the half inch discs, which are these, um, in the gold aluminum discs. Now, I think that's strange because I could have sworn that I saw them on their website. I went and checked the website. It's not there. I called Levenger customer service. She said, the lady that helped me actually didn't really, I, I don't think she um, actually knew what was happening because she was like, well, let me Google it for you. Let me check the website for you. I mean, in my opinion, if you work there, you should know. But anyway, um, so when she checked the website also was not there, which I had already seen myself. So I don't know you guys, that's the bottom line. I thought that I had seen the half inch, not half inch, I'm sorry, three quarter inch. I thought that I had seen the three quarter inch discs in the gold aluminum, they apparently do not exist. I posted in the Louis Vuitton um, group on Facebook asking if any of those ladies knew if they existed. And my sweet friend Diana was like, why don't you just spray paint some rings gold? And I was like, duh, that's the best idea ever. I spray paint everything gold. I don't know why I didn't think of that myself. So I went to Staples and bought these ARC notebooks from Staples. And okay, let me tell you guys what I did. So basically I bought a black one that came with these black rings. And then I bought this white one and it's literally just this plastic cover, notebook pages, and then the rings. So these rings that you see here used to be white and then I spray painted them. So literally all I did was put them on a piece of paper, spray paint them. So this is what I use. I chose this specifically because it says it bonds to plastic. Um, it says it's a metallic bright gold. I'm gonna show you guys the two next to each other. Obviously, it's not gonna be as bright as this aluminum because it's plastic covered in spray paint, but I am really, really happy with the way they turned out. Um, I think this can was like four bucks. I have used various different cans of gold spray paint. I don't have a favorite, but like I said, I picked this one because it says it um, adheres to plastic. So. Put these white discs um, on a sheet of paper, spray painted them, good to go. Um, I did put about two coats on here and um, I did have to turn them over obviously, but I was able to cover them very easily. I was really afraid of the paint wearing off on these and getting onto other things, but I've been carrying this in my purse for maybe about a week now have not noticed that it's rubbed off onto anything really. Doesn't, you know, rub off on my hands. I don't know about like scratching off. I mean, I think it's on there pretty well. I am actually really, really happy with the way these turned out. Again, I would have ordered the aluminum ones from Levenger, but didn't have them. So um, I, like I said, really happy with these. I just think the size is better. I think you guys can see, um, I'll do a comparison um, with the ruler too to show you guys, but 
just it's a lot better for me. I like the way this is more streamlined, a little bit more sleek. I'm just not going to use this big of a disc. So again, these are aluminum discs. These are plastic. So they're going to feel a little bit different. The um, weight of them, you know, is going to be a little bit different. They're obviously these gold ones are not the ones that I DIY'd are not as shiny as the aluminum. Now, maybe that has to do with the gold spray paint that I used. Maybe a different brand will have a different color of gold. So you can always try that. These are obviously um, the ones from Levenger, obviously a lot warmer toned. And they are, I mean, you can tell, they're sleeker, you know, so they just have, um, the inside doesn't really have anything on it, as opposed to these ARC ones has like their logo inside. So, you know, it's not going to be the exact same thing, but when you got to do what you got to do, when they don't have them, uh, you just got to make make the best out of what you have. So you spray paint white discs. And so anyway, I am, again, like I said, very, very happy with them. Let me show you guys a little comparison of sizing. Let's put it on this white here. So, um, I mean, they're, they're pretty consistent. They are um, three quarters of an inch. This looks closer. Is this a half inch, you guys? No, this is three quarters. So here's where it starts ends right there so it is definitely three quarters of an inch and then this one is definitely one inch so you can see I mean it'll fit in there now as far as the amount of paper that goes in there I haven't tested it out and I haven't actually put this in my Louis Vuitton desk agenda yet because it is stuck in customs in Chicago so I have ordered from overseas several times never had a problem and now of course I can't wait to get my agenda and it's not here. So as soon as it comes in, I'll show you guys um, what it looks like, what these disc bound systems look like in there. But um, I think, and I know that these one inch will fit because I've seen pictures in the groups on Facebook, but I think for me, the three quarter inch is gonna fit a lot nicer. So I'm not even as concerned with how many pieces of paper I can put in there. I'm more concerned with just how um, bulky the rings are. And I just feel like these are a lot more streamlined. So I just wanted to share really quickly um, the difference between these two rings so you guys could get a better up close look at them. Um, as far as a comparison between the Levenger and the Arc system, honestly, you guys, I think the rings are exactly the same. I can't speak to how long they will hold up, but I think that plastic should hold up just as well as the aluminum. Like I don't think that the material is gonna give you that much of an advantage. They are much more expensive, obviously. I mean, I got this notebook for $5 with the paper, these little covers and the rings. So um, as opposed to 25 for just the rings. Obviously, again, different material, but Really, if I had to say, um, if I had to pick one or the other, I would definitely go with the Arc. I have not seen um, an advantage to the Levenger. These leather notebooks that I shared with you guys, the cover in that other video, um, Arc has the same exact thing at Staples and it's like $25. And I believe these notebooks I think are around 100, maybe even more um, through Levenger. So, um, you know, it is a, a luxury brand, but um, I don't really see that much of a difference. I say, save your luxury brands for your Louis Vuittons of the world. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you end up doing this again. Thank you, Diana, so much for giving me this idea. I cannot believe that I, um, it took me so long for that to like click. I should have thought of that immediately. But anyway, I'm appreciative of you um, giving me that idea. And like I said, super easy to do. 
This is again the um, spray paint that I used. If you guys end up doing this, please tag me on Instagram if you share a picture because I would love to see it. Um, I love to see when you guys do these DIY projects. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and inspirational for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. I hope you're all doing really well and I'll see you soon. Bye.